Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to write a function that is going to affect our uh, move vector just a little bit. So depending on where the camera is facing, our move vector is going to be different every time. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so this one is fairly simple. What we'll do is we'll open up the player motor script. And we are going to write our function in there because this is also where we get the input. So, I mean, this makes sense that we're going to modify the input in there as well. So, um, we already have a reference to camera mother, but I want something else, actually. I'm going to get the transform of that. So, we declare a private transform, and I'm going to call this cam transform. Right below the camera mother dot initialize, I am going to do camera transform is equal to cam mother dot camera container. If we remember correctly, I'm going to open the camera motor now. Inside the camera motor, we have already a transform, a um, field for the camera container. So this is all I need. I'm going to call this from the player motor, get a reference to that. And once we have this, we can get the direction of that transform and make our function. Okay, so we get the cam transform now. Let's go down here and write what we have to write. So private vector3, I'm going to call this one rotate with view because this is basically what we are going to do. We're going to take uh, in parameter a vector3 input like I like to call them. So inside our rotate with view function we are going to declare ourselves a vector3 direction and it is going to equal cam transform dot transform direction and then it needs an additional direction which is uh, the input vector we get, so we give it input. Okay, once we have this, now we are going to have a vector that is um, that should be working, but we also say our camera is also looking a little bit downwards. Then we also get a Y component, and we don't want to affect our input vector with a Y component, else it's going to have some uh, awful behavior. Plus, we already replaced the Y component with our own vertical velocity. So, what we need to do is take the direction vector we get here and we're going to say set. I'm going to set it to direction.x. We're going to kill the y, so I'm going to write 0, then direction.z. Just like that. So now we made this vector 2D, pretty much. And just below that, I'm going to say dir.normalize. So we get a vector of length 1 times input.magnitude. And we multiply that vector by the uh, original input vector we get. So this should be our move vector dot magnitude. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Let's go up here in the um, update motor function just below where we get our input. So just below move vector is equal to input direction. We are going to rotate our move vector with camera. Our camera's uh, forward, we could say. And we're simply going to write move vector is equal to rotate with view. And we ship the move vector as a parameter. Close this off. Let's go see it in game if everything works just fine. Okay, camera container is here. Now I move and I look at the red boss and I press forward. It goes towards the red boss. Let's try that again. So I'm going to go over here. And we, <laughs> we really need to. Uh, and like in the next episode, we're going to uh, swap our input. So we're going to have two different input, one for the camera and one for the movement of the player. Okay, so say the forward of my camera, so the blue arrow is pointing towards the tower. I press W and it goes straight at it. All right, guys, this was pretty much it for this video. If this was helpful to you, please leave it a like. If you have any question or comment, please post them in the comment section below. Also, subscribe for the rest of this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.